was really sick when I was younger in my um, teenage years. Mm -hmm. I had a heart disease. I went through a heart operation and then I had an autoimmune disease that was called incurable. And so I was told that I will be on the medications for the rest of my life. And, uh, and that was it, basically. And because the disease was extremely painful, it wasn't an option to live like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when I was 19 years old, I went to India and I was like, I'm just going to find this amazing guru who will miraculously cure me. <laughs> That's it. That was you the did, plan. And that was the end. And <laughs> I got so. even more sick in India. So I right. had to be transported by plane from one hospital to another to save me. I literally almost died. Okay. And this started my first panic attacks. So I was afraid of leaving a house. I was so afraid of life and this idea that this is how my life was going to be. Mm -hmm. And um, I continue with like, you know, operating and having, taking all the medications and seeing all the specialists. And there was this moment in time. It's funny how, uh, you know, health didn't actually break me that much. My like... Achilles foot is a relationship. So I got mm -hmm. to a relationship and I was left back in the day by an ex, by a partner of mine. And that was the moment I, w I actually broke to pieces. That's I just had enough of life, of this reality, of, like, of living this way. And so it creates a surrender mm -hmm. that I needed to experience in order to let go of the control. Mm -hmm. of my reality mm -hmm. and in that surrender I was shown very quickly that life wanted for me so much more that I could possibly imagine for myself so I was taken on an amazing healing path within two weeks absolutely randomly I found myself in a Buddhist ashram in northern Thailand where, you know, I walked in and the, the main monk uh, looked at me and he said, oh, Vipassana, very easy for you. You meditated many past lives. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, okay, let's just begin again. But it was really like coming back home. I started to, from zero to <clears throat> meditate for seven hours per day. And within four days, I had my first out-of-body experience. I started to reactivate all my um, psychic powers. I could dream about future. I could see energies. I, you know, all of that basically got um, awakened. And within 10 days, I was healed from the disease. So uh, it's been 11 years. I haven't been on medi any medication. Wow. And that was the beginning of my life. This is where I... I know you want to ask the question. I have so many questions. <laughs> I have so many questions. <laughs> I, I, t I ask myself, what is possible for us? What can we as human actually create? Mm. What we are capable of? And mind became my absolute obsession. Mm. Human, human, human became my obsession. You know, who we are and what we are made from and uh, what, we are, what we are made of and, and what uh, is possible within, within our creation. And so I made later on a documentary movie on enhanced states of consciousness. I spoke to most powerful experts in the world. I, I worked with absolutely amazing mystics. And that sort of became, you know, my path that I couldn't do anymore something that was not transformational for people. Mm -hmm. So because I was an artist, I ask myself, how can I create a bridge between transformation and art? And how could I create an art that is transformational? And that was basically, that was the initial seed of, of everything. Mm. Mm.